From the largest opal in the world to rare Viking treasure hoards, here are lucky discoveries that made people rich. But first, thanks Aini, we're glad you enjoyed learning about some of the strangest rock formations in the US. Little Finland is a pretty cool formation. Let us know what you think about some of these lucky discoveries and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 12, 12 pound gold nugget. You might see those people with the little metal detectors on the beach wearing sandals with socks and think they're complete losers. But we'll see who's laughing when they bust out a 12 pound golden nugget. Sounds like every treasure hunter's dream, but this kind of stuff can happen. A prospector in Australia found a 12 pound golden nugget all clumped together that must have been missed by hundreds of people before him. This nugget we see in the photo is 9 inches long and was under about 2 feet of dirt. You can tell from this angle that it looks to be in a T shape, which is quite rare. 12 pounds of gold is currently worth $228,937, but it's believed that it sold for $350,000 at an auction to a private buyer who wants to remain private. Although they might think about melting this down, geologists are quite interested in its unique shape. Number 11, Declaration of Independence. Whoa, hold on a minute. How could someone actually have the Declaration of Independence? That's locked up in the Smithsonian, right? Turns out they made 500 copies, but only 24 are known to exist. People do get extremely lucky sometimes, and a man found a copy of the Declaration of Independence hidden behind a painting that only cost him $4 to purchase. What an investment. No one ever said anything about a buy a painting get a free Declaration of Independence copy deal at a store. As he examined the frame of the painting, he discovered a remarkable piece of American history in pristine condition. Now that is something you should hang up on the wall. Instead of keeping it for himself though, he decided to sell it for a cool $2.4 million, making him a rich man in the process. Number 10, Superman comic book. Do you have some old comic books lying around your attic? It could be worth some big bucks. If you have this comic book somewhere, you could be a millionaire. This is the first Superman comic book ever made, and it's basically the comic that began the superhero era. That's kind of a big deal. A man named David Gonzalez had his dream come true when he found this one here in his attic. David sold it for $175,000 since it was in poor condition. The original only sold for 10 cents in 1938, so as you can tell, there was quite a bit of a price increase. There was one that was reportedly in mint condition and sold on eBay for an amazing price. Some people take their comic books very seriously. The perfect issue actually sold for $3 million and experts couldn't believe in what good condition it was. If you only had a time machine, you can go back and buy a hundred of these. Number 9. The Stafford Shear Hoard this massive load of treasure was found in 2009 when a farmer in central England lost a tool in his field and called a friend with a metal detector to scan for it. In search of a farm tool, Terry Herbert accidentally discovered the largest single hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold ever found. As excavators dug up the field, they found a total of 3,500 pieces of gold, silver, and garnet that would be a total of 3.285 million British pounds or 4.75 million US dollars. This would be split in half by the man who owned the land and the man who found it. Other discoveries in history of Anglo-Saxon gold includes the Sun Hu helmet, which is currently being held at the British Museum in London and was discovered in 1939. It just goes to show you that there could be gold under the very soil that you're standing on right now. Number 8. 1974 D Penny Normally, when you come across a penny, you either pick it up for good luck, or you just continue on with your day. Someone, however, picked up this rare penny and became a millionaire. A man named Robert Lawrence found a plastic bag filled with pennies that his dad left for him. Not realizing they were worth anything, he decided to take them along with him when he moved a few months later as sentimental value. After sifting through the bag, he noticed there were quite a few of old pennies, and he noticed there was one in the bag that was completely silver. He later on took it to a pawn shop to see what it was priced at. The shop owner believed it was worth $300 max, but he was way off. This is the rare 1974 D penny, which is made of aluminum, and only 10 were ever made. The man cashed in on the lucky find for 2 mil and donated $100,000 to homeless programs. Make sure you check twice which pennies you give out to the homeless next time. Number 7. Van Gogh Masterpiece if getting rich is motivation enough to clean out the attic, you should really go for it. In 2013, a Norwegian man discovered a work of art that he had originally believed was a well-made forgery. This painting, known as The Sunset at Mont Major, spent over a hundred years not hung up in a museum, but in a dark attic. When it was originally taken to an art museum, the experts deemed it as a forgery since it wasn't signed. 
but Van Gogh was known to do this from time to time on paintings he didn't like as much. In more recent years, with new technology like x-rays, researchers were able to authenticate it. They described it as a lifetime discovery. A little bit surprised by the discovery, the Norwegian man just decided to keep it. But if he ever decides to sell it, it could be worth about 50 million dollars, at least. Number 6. Stolen Ferrari if it was only this easy to get a Ferrari. A Ferrari was discovered in 1978 when two kids were digging around their backyard in Los Angeles. The kids were alerted and no one was really too sure at first what all the metal was in the ground. They realized that the kids had discovered a Dyno 246 GTS Ferrari. That's a pretty cool find for some kids out there. It turns out this was a stolen car and was buried to hide evidence four years before they found it. Number five, Lost Polak Painting. Sometimes you might only have something in your house that you just don't know is worth a lot of money. This was the case for a man living in Scottsdale, Arizona, who had a collection of modern art that he just found to be intriguing. He called over some experts to take a look at one of his signed Laker posters, which was only worth about 300 bucks. But the experts noticed something else in the garage that caught their eye. They noticed the series of smears that was consistent with a modern artist known as Jackson Pollock. This American painter is considered a major figure in abstract expressionism, and his paintings are still worth big bucks. The painting was heavily damaged, but even then, still worth some serious cash. They had it authenticated by another expert who closely examined the painting and claimed it was indeed authentic and could sell for anything from $10 million to $15 million. Number 4. Boulder Matrix Opal It seems like digging around in Australia could certainly pay off. The world's largest opal matrix was discovered in Queensland, Australia in 2011, and this amazing stone has 55,000 carats. That's about 25 pounds of pure opal. The previous largest opal ever discovered was only about 6,100 carats. This mammoth find took place in the dry outback of Australia, which receives very little rainfall. It measured in at about 10 inches in length and is valued at $1 million. Some jewelers think they can actually get more money from breaking it into pieces and selling those individually. This is an extremely lucky find that basically changes history, and you better believe the guy who found it is going to be rich. Number 3. Jersey Iron Age Coins a great deal of coins were found on the island of Jersey in 2012, and it may shock you. This island in the English Channel that contains a great deal of French and English culture also contained a massive treasure. After searching for this treasure for 30 years, two amateur treasure hunters found these coins that date back to the Iron Age. But no, they weren't made of iron, but silver, and it was the largest haul of Celtic coins to have ever been found. Each coin that you see in this person's hand was found on the island of Jersey, and they're worth at least 200 pounds each. You can still tell from this photo that they're in great condition. This makes the total discovery worth 10 million pounds or 12 million US dollars. They were found under three feet of soil underneath a hedge in someone's farm. The coins were packed in a clay chest and literally weighed a ton. It's believed that they were stashed to keep the Romans from plundering it during their conquest of the British Isles. Number 2. Sutter's Mill Gold Discovery Now for a little bit of history. Sometimes, when you discover something, you might make other people rich, but not necessarily yourself. And this was a case for John Sutter. This guy had some seriously bad luck. A man named James Marshall, who worked at Sutter's Mill, discovered a massive golden nugget, and he told his boss, John Sutter, about it. The two decided to keep it secret for a while, but hired some men to help them pan out the gold. Well, it turns out that all the miners they hired were just a bunch of no-good thieves, and they stole all the gold they came across. The miners basically told everyone that there was gold in them there hills, and this is what brought millions of people seeking fast riches. Fortune seekers from all over the world like China, Germany, Mexico, Ireland, Turkey, and of course, the eastern United States, moved to California during this period. After all his employees cheated him and took off with his gold found on his land, the gold ran out and he was basically left penniless. He decided to give up on the California dream and moved as far away as possible. California officially became a state in 1850, partially thanks to there being gold here. If this moment in history never happened, the western United States would most likely be much less developed and less rich. Now you know why California is called the Golden State. And number 1. The Wida Discovery the Wida was a British slave ship that was originally captured by Black Sam and was found off the coast of Cape Cod in Massachusetts in 1984 by Barry Clifford. 
he actually credits a pirate treasure map that many discredited as being false. It seems to be the holy grail of pirate discoveries. Priceless artifacts were discovered, including 200,000 individual pieces that were under at least 14 feet of water. Rare gold and silver coins, gold jewelry, artifacts, cannons, sword handles, and even a boy's leg were all found. The boat is believed to carry the plunder of 10 whole ships. Spanish galleons were relentlessly looted by Black Sam until him and his crew were swept away by a strong storm in 1717. Divers pulled together huge clumps of gold coin masses that stuck together from years of being underwater. A museum exhibition called Real Pirates, the untold story of the Whida from slave ship to pirate ship, toured the United States. Ferry believes there is more treasure out there from this wreck. Estimated cost of the Whida and all her booty? Oh, just about $400 million. So which one did you think was the most mysterious? Let us know in the comment section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video.